Hi, Larissa Reed here. Um, one of the great things about meditating is I've noticed that it, I don't always have insights during or immediately after my meditation session, but it seems like as I go throughout the day, my mind and my heart are open to just insights. Like I'll hear a phrase or a word or some lyrics to a song or something and it's just like all of a sudden my my understanding opens up and I start getting these these inspirations from heaven, you know, these downloads or whatever. So I was driving from the grocery store back home um, just right now and all of a sudden I had this thought and it just started, it's almost like a flower blooming, like the thought happened and I stayed with the thought for a while and it just started unfolding, unfolding, unfolding. And so I pulled off to the side of the road to kind of just um, share this with you. My thoughts are on procrastination. So, let's see. So my experience in the past with procrastination has been, I feel like I have to train, I felt like I had to like train my mind. If I was procrastinating something, um, an important job or something that I needed to do, then um, my mind was my enemy, essentially. You know, I had to I had to train my mind and I had to have all these like strategies to keep me from procrastinating and stuff like that. So I believe now that my mind is not my enemy. If I feel like I need to procrastinate something, that's my soul coming out and saying, this is not something you really want to do. There's something that you really want to do on the other side of this, of this um, job or whatever that you're procrastinating to do. If you were to let that drop out, or at least let the parts of that drop out that you're procrastinating, then you would actually find something that really moved you from the heart. Because if we thought, if you'll just take a second and think in your life about something that you procrastinate doing, and then something that you don't procrastinate doing, something that just pulls you. You know, let's take for example, if you're a writer, an author, a writer, or something like that, and you have a piece that you need to write and you just find yourself procrastinating it, procrastinating it, whatever, versus when you're in that groove and you have a topic that you're just so excited about, passionate about, maybe characters that you're writing about, the book writes you versus you having to write something to get a deadline done or something like that. You're gonna procrastinate because it's not, it's not your highest calling, it's not your highest excitement. So I guess what I'm saying is my thought unfolded as what if procrastination wasn't the enemy? What if procrastination was actually your amazing mind and heart's way of saying, listen, there's something more exciting for you, but you've got to let this go. You've got to be willing to release this and stop procrastinating it by stop feeling like you have to do it. Let it go and see what else comes in to fill that void. Um, the universe hates a void. The universe, all of the amazing tools, everything around us, they hate um, emptiness of any kind, space. And so they, there will be something to come in and fill that void as long as you let go of what feels heavy and what drains you. Because when you're procrastinating, it's because honestly your soul does not want to do something that drains you and makes you heavy and makes you, oh, you know what I mean? Whatever that sound means to you, but that's what it feels like to me in my soul. But when I'm inspired and excited and you know, whatever it is pulls me, I'm not having to push it. I'm not having to force it. I'm not having to like talk myself out of procrastination when it's my soul guiding me. And so I just wanted to share that with you. Maybe if there's something procrastinating in your life, there's probably something better for you on the other side of that procrastination. If at all possible, figure out what it is that you don't want to do. And for heaven's sakes, do yourself a favor and don't do it. There is something that is so exciting to you that you will hardly be able to go to sleep at night. You'll hardly be able to wait to wake up in the morning to do it. There is something for you. And procrastination is just the... Um, the sign or the symptom that whatever it is that you don't want to do is not your highest calling. Your soul does not want to do it. You'll know. You'll be so excited. There will be no sign of procrastination when you are in your soul's highest excitement.
So something to think about, something to meditate on. What is it that you're procrastinating? And what do you think would happen if you could let go of the thing that you're procrastinating on? What kind of thing do you think the universe could open up for you? Kind of exciting, kind of scary maybe? That's a sign that you're ready to open up to a whole new level. Procrastination is not my um, enemy anymore. It's my friend because it's telling me something that I have not had the courage to tell myself. So something to think about.